Good morning, Philadelphia. With us today is Frank Reynolds, local business owner and a man with a harrowing story. That's right. A few days ago, three thugs tried to mug me. Now, I want to be very clear about something. Um, Mr. These pieces of garbage, they don't know who Mr. the hell Reynolds, they're dealing with. Excuse me. Do you think maybe you could eat that sandwich later? I'm starving. Uh. Yeah, yeah, nothing to eat in this show. Let's get back right. to Right, so, so these punks, Yes. I don't know if they wanted money mm -hmm. or they wanted something more sexual. Wow. But it's a lucky thing I had my pieces. Your, your pieces? My guns. Oh. Right. I, anyway, I started blasting. Bah! Wow. Bah! No, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after them. Okay. Bang! Tried to shoot them in the back. But I don't want so good either. Anyway, you guys all think I'm a hero, and I'll accept that responsibility. Now, were you concerned, though, that an innocent bystander may Look, have... crime in this city is out of control. Mm. Thank God I went down to Gunther's Guns and picked up a spare. I don't think one would have done it. Right. I'm going to go out and buy some more. Okay. And I think you should, too. Don't be a victim. Exactly. Gun sales have skyrocketed. We're running out of guns. And we have to manufacture more guns. Supply is not meeting the demand. Can we, can we cut? Will, will my hands look this small on the screen? Uh, we're alive. I thought the camera so. would add 10 pounds to my hands. I don't like the way they look. Your hands look fine. Put them down. This is Jack Kelly. He's my attorney. He specializes in constitutional law. Our rights are being infringed upon, and people like my client won't take it anymore. The Constitution guarantees our Second Amendment rights. And these liberals, like Al Gore, they're trying to take that away from us with this global warming bullshit. So uh, you, you see the two issues as related somehow? Damn right. The government of today has no right telling us how to live our lives because the government of 200 years ago already did. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. They also protected well. us from tyranny against the seizure of tasteful artistic photographs of beautiful bodies. Not now, Jack. That same government wants to come into our home, tell us what is and what is not art. That's not right. Okay, well, I'm going to try and uh, keep things on track here. Yeah, so. get out and get those guns before they run out. And the government changes the laws. These idiots are buying this? First, they disarm us. Then they oppress us. So I want you to get every gun you can buy and bring it to 17th and JFK. And we're going to march on City Hall. And bring whatever guest you want, regardless of age or whatever restriction the government puts on our expression of beauty. Just get the guns and bring them down to City Hall. Well, you better believe I'll be there. I know you'll be there. Very nice. Hey, Frank, why do you have a truck full of water filters? Uh, you know what? I don't give a shit. Let's get down to that rally, man. Rally? Yeah. Yes, the Freedom Rally, the one you organized. Oh, shit, I'm not going to go down there. It's going to be a bunch of nuts with guns. Too dangerous. Wait, hold on a second. What's going on? I, I thought you were into guns. You know, why have you been on TV talking about all that shit? I bought a stake in Gunther's guns. I got everybody angry and scared. They bought the guns. I made a fortune. Oh, my God. This is crazy. So you don't give a shit about the gun issue at all? Uh, uh, I mean, what the hell? You're like the NRA. Yeah, a little bit like the NRA. A little tiny bit. But I, I, I think of myself more like Al Gore. You know, he got everybody worked up over global warming. Then he made millions. Huh? Yeah, everybody does it. Liberals, conservatives, doesn't matter. This is America. You're either a duper or a dupe. I'm a duper. You guys are the dupees. I gotta go. Where are you going now? With us now is local community activist Frank Reynolds with a terrifying statistic. Frank? Yes. Thank you, Chet. You're welcome. Do you know that 90% of your water is 100% toxins? Who knows what the other 10% is? It's probably far worse, It's I would really worse. I have a water filter for you that you need to put in every single home. It will protect you and your entire family. You could even give that water to your babies. Wow. Well, babies, look out, because this next segment is just for you. Don't turn that channel. Your life may depend upon it.